Hello, in this video we will learn about the osteoporosis in female. So what is the osteoporosis in female? Uh, let's begin to understand. The weakness of bones by deficiency of estrogen production which that will lead to cause the osteoporosis, the weakness of bone and the deformities of the bone and brittle bone. Above 45 years old age women likely more osteoporosis as compared to the young female. Menopause is very important cause, causes of the osteoporosis in female. This is the female pituitary gland and this is the brain. During puberty, sexual thinking, sexual changes and the seasonal changes which that will lead to stimulate this and uh, stimulate the nerve impulse to the brain. Brain, higher brain cortex will send the signal to the thalamus to hypothalamus through uh, and release the gonadotropin releasing hormone from the hypothalamus will trigger the pituitary gland to produce luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. This luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone will target the ovary of the female. Ovary is in the form of pair. Two ovaries are present. So the corpus luteum formation after the follicle stimulation will lead to stimulation, will lead to corpus luteum to produce estrogen. And this is the ovulation due to the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. But the major is the luteinizing hormone. While the follicle stimulating hormone is trigger the follicle stimulation from primary to secondary. This estrogen will target the endometrium wall thickness and of the uterus for conceiving and the placenta formation during the pregnancy as well as the secondary sexual characters also enhanced due to the for example mammary glands development and the appearance more feminine. Let's begin to understand the primary causes of osteoporosis. This primary causes is due to the pituitary gland dysfunction. There is a lot of primary causes which that is involving the pituitary gland and hypothalamus dysfunction will lead to not produce more follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone even uh, not produce or less produce. So the hypothalamic pituitary tumor, pituitary tumor or the pituitary dysfunction or absence uh, of the pituitary gland by birth. So the follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone deficiency also cause. This will lead to not trigger the ovary for the ovulation and in this manner the menstrual cycle inhibit will lead to less production of the estrogen due to the corpus luteal not form. Well the normal function is uh, secondary cause is the ovary tumor and ovary absence by birth and the menopause or malnutrition. So the luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone will produce normally but it will not re uh, receive the targeting tissue like uh, follicle stimulating hormone uh, receptor are present in the primary follicle. So no maturation, no corpus luteal phase, the luteal phase, no estrogen and progesterone production and no pregnancy. And in this manner the estrogen will not produce placental estrogen as well as the lute, lute, luteal estrogen, the luteinized corpus luteum producing estrogen absence. So let's begin to understand the mechanism for the bone remodeling and compartment of uh, by estrogen activity. So let's here is the bone contain bone marrow and the marrow capillary and bone here is a compact bone. Though for example femur. So this is the blood circulatory system in the bone marrow. So remember it will be formed the remodeling compartment and this is here is the bone lining cell and this is the uh, uh, rank L and bind with the rank 
will lead to trigger the osteoclast activity this osteoclast is due, due to the colo uh, uh, macrophage colony maturation factor which that will uh, 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 which that will trigger the osteoclast formation and the rank L will bind to trigger the resorption of bone while in the case of estrogen let's begin to understand osteoblast activity will be enhanced this is the estrogen present in the blood circulatory system so it will target to the osteoblast to produce the osteoprotrugerin this osteoprotrugerin is a protein released from the osteoblast for the inhibition of the osteoclast activity to reabsorption resorption of the bone but the formation of the bone occur and estrogen will also target to the osteocyte formation down is the osteocyte so this is the resorption pit formation but this is a bone remodeling or bone modeling so the estrogen will inhibit the rank L and in this way the inhibition with the rank and in this way due to the bond with the OPG and in this way it will not bind with the rank receptor so the osteoclast will not trigger due to the osteoclast required the rank L the rank ligand for example, uh, for example the hypocalcemia in the blood will target the parathyroid gland parathyroid thyroid gland produce the parathormone hormone the parathormone will target to the uh, target to the uh, uh, when the calcium will low target to the uh, dna and uh, the parathyroid transcription factor formation will produce the rank l this rank l basically produce for the binding with the rank to trigger the osteoclast activity for the bone resorption and in this way the hypocalcemia will again revise to uh, uh, basically again hypercalcemia and isocalcemia will occur and in this way the requirement of the calcium is very important in our blood so that is why the normal calcium homeostasis will occur by this manner so osteocytes and osteoblasts produce the OPG which that will be bound with the macrophage colony, uh, uh, macrophage colony stimulating factors bind uh, with the OPG and in this way the macrophage will not proliferate into the osteoclast because the osteoclast uh, basically requires the rank L. So for example when the parathyroid hormone will trigger will uh, trigger the osteoblast to produce the rank L and in this way the rank L when produced here is the bone formation so the OPG will inhibit the bone resorption while the rank L will trigger the bone resor resorption but the but the rank L will produce due to the parathormone hormone and in this way the, will trigger the rank L formation the rank l will release and bind with the rank uh, rank uh, with the macrophage will proliferate and differentiation into the osteoclast formation it is the osteoclast precursor will become a osteoclast precursor for the secondary and in this way the rank l and rank bind will trigger the active osteoclast formation the active osteoclast formation means it will be bind will be form a resorptive pit and this resorptive pit will increase the acidity and the release of the calcium and phosphate when it will be point for the calcium carbonate or other will release and free the calcium and move into the blood circulatory system for clear the hypocalcemia and in this the isocalcemic in effect will be occurring in the blood circulatory system but anyhow the osteoporosis in female is due to the estrogen estrogen low uh, uh, quality and estrogen low level so thanks for watching bye